plows are already out clearing roads and laying down salt, but slick spots will still be a concern. 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay talking with MDOT tonight and has more on what drivers need to know to stay safe. The snow is definitely beautiful, but it can also be dangerous. Now you can see there's not a ton of cars out on the road, which will actually work to our favor because the fewer cars on the road, potentially the fewer crashes and that's happening because the snow is coming down Saturday going into Sunday. But if you are going to be driving, be safe. It's the first real snowfall of the season, meaning it's the perfect time to remind both seasoned and new drivers the rules of the road snow edition. First, Diane Cross with MDOT says ease up on the gas pedal. Obviously, if we've got slick roads, drivers have to slow down. Cross says you should give yourself more time to get to your destination and make sure there is plenty of space between your car and the one in front of you, because in these conditions, you'll need to be alert. Even if you know how to drive in the snow, a lot of people don't, and so you have to definitely do extra defensive driving. Another tip, Cross says ramps, overpasses, and bridges always freeze first. So she says to make sure you are at a slower, safer pace before getting off the expressway. Even if you didn't have anything happening on the freeway that you felt while driving, as soon as you get onto a ramp, now you're on a bridge. You've got colder air coming underneath that, freezing the ground sooner, and you're going to see slick spots there before you will the freeway. Snow trucks started laying salt on the grounds this afternoon, and they will continue throughout the night. When you see them, move over. Just because you can see them, you cannot always assume that they can see you. It's the law for drivers to move over for any vehicles on the side of the road, be it a tow truck, police officer, or emergency crew. Lastly, Cross says it's simple, but some people neglect to fully clean off their car before driving. If you've got snow that's maybe blinding you that you can't see, maybe you should not be driving. Now, if you are going to be braving the roads tonight or tomorrow and you want to check on road conditions, you can go to Michigan.gov slash drive there. You can actually click on cameras to see the road conditions. It'll tell you if there's been any crashes or if there's road closures. We'll have a link to that on our website at WXYZ.com. In Southfield, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.